Hey there, quick video, pick up, small story, not really interesting, but I'm going to tell you anyways. Um, essentially, how this goes is I had a $5 coupon for Best Buy. So at lunch, I decided I would head to the mall. Work needed me to pick up something from a store that was already in the mall. Well, they needed something from a store that was already in the mall, so I decided, you know what? Now's a perfect opportunity for me to use that $5, head up Best Buy, pick up something for myself, and get this thing for work at the same time. You know, kill two birds with one stone, right? So I got into Best Buy, looked around, looked around. Um, wasn't seeing too much. A lot, of course, it's still the TV on DVD thing they got going on, so I was tempted to drop some money on um, some Stargate sets. Um, basically I would only be buying one season though um, and I was looking at getting Atlantis but I'm pretty sure I have some of them on DVD and and you know what right now is a perfect time to just get into them because they were twenty dollars for the season on blu-ray and I was like oh I don't want to get that oh okay but no I um, started I looked around it a little bit more I figured you know what no I'm gonna go with a movie I've bought a lot of television lately I don't need any more television right now movie 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 so I looked around looked around looked around and then I came across something that I'd already seen online I was like ooh, that's what I should get and it was kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to go there in the first place and I you know as usual just out of my head completely forgot about it but I saw it there It was the last copy they had and for twenty dollars um, on sale for $20. Again, take the $5 off. So for $15, I picked up the Alfred Hitchcock, the classic collection, which has Notorious, Rebecca, and Spellbound in it. And it's one of those things, Hitchcock, um, my, my knowledge of, of Hitchcock movies is, is not that vast. Um, despite the thousands and thousands of movies I've seen, Hitchcock was never one of the ones that I really managed to put on my well it was on my list but it was never one of those ones uh, directors who I really got a, a chance to see a lot of stuff from and B took the opportunities when they came up um, I've seen The Birds and I've seen Psycho a ton because they were on television all the time I have to catch a thief I got that for, for review so I've seen that um, outside of that, I don't know that there's anything I've really seen from Hitchcock, but I, you know, I watched the movie Hitchcock and it kind of got me back into that. You know what? I want to, I want to watch the Hitchcock stuff. So when I saw this, I figured, you know what? I'm going to get this. This will knock off another three, um, for me to have seen. And uh, you know what? And talking about missed opportunities when I was in university, I mean, we, I was in fine arts and I took film courses and, uh, we had a, you know, moving <laughs> images library type thing, and we had all the Hitchcock. I think we had probably had it all on 35 mil. Like we had it on film, I'm sure. Um, but I never, you know, what I, I just never saw. It. And it, Kurosawa was another one that was same same boat. Uh, I've since been slowly picking up those mostly criterion releases because really that that's the, the only ones who were really releasing kurosawa stuff um but yeah didn't do it when i was in university and you know i'm kicking myself now but you know i've got this it'll be the three i've got to catch a thief there is that big box set which is i think that's going for about 80 90 dollars right now and i oh i just i could drop the money and i mean there's what 15 movies in there so it's a good price and I think it regularly goes for like two or three hundred bucks, but either way, I could, that's on my list of things to get. And then I think there's like four releases from Criterion right now, and that's essentially everything that's on Blu-ray. Um, and I'm not going to dip into DVDs for Hitchcock. Um, I'm going to go strictly with Blu-rays until you know as they get released, I will pick them up. But uh, I figure this is a good start. Get another three under my belt. Um, and go from there. So, yeah, fans. Who's a fan of Hitchcock? Who's seen these three films? Notorious Rebecca and Spellbound.
yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about them other than I'm, I'm sure they have their standard, you know, Hitchcockian stuff. They must be. He's he made a name for himself doing that. That's his style. It's, he developed this style, right? So I have to be in the same vein. Uh, may not be as 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 flashy as Psycho. Well, obviously not as flashy as Psycho, or the you know and the birds. I love the birds, man. Something about that. I just love that, and I haven't seen that in forever. So definitely have to get on that box set because I really want to watch the birds. I have Psycho on DVD, I think. Well, I know I have the. Oh crap, I don't even know. Maybe I don't. Gotta have something on. I've gotta have something from Hitchcock on DVD somewhere. I know I do. Have to. Couldn't have gone this long without getting anything. Anyways, I'm rambling, spewing stuff out at the camera, and you don't need to see that. Um, so I'll cut this one here. Pick up. $15. I think it's worth it. $5 of Blu ray for three months. Yeah. Come on. It's Hitchcock. Of course it's worth it. it easily pay $30 for this. Easily. That's one of those things with these. Oh, see, I'm going to I'm gonna keep talking and I cut it right here. <laughs> Before I go on and this ends up an hour long video. So, guys, till the next video, you guys take care and have a good one. Um, and watch some Hitchcock. I said cock. <laughs>